Powder One and the Gamer from Game Smashers here. And I'm going to be unboxing a figurine from the series Ashita no Joe, Ashita no Joe, Tomorrow's Joe, Rocky Joe. And uh, today this is a figurine made, a rare figurine by um, that was released in Hong Kong Comic Festival to 2002. Here's the box. It's, I don't have it on a rotating stand for two reasons. One, because if I have the rotating stand, it's gonna, it's not gonna rotate because this box is a bit long, and uh, there's not really much to show in the box. It's just this one picture in the front cover, with a bit of text on the top, which I will show you. Which on the top here says Hong Kong Comic Festival 2002 Limited Edition. The bottom shows how to work production house. It shows right here how to work production house, Hot Toys, J Dynasty Publications Limited 2002 by us. Asao Takamori, Tetsuya Chiba, slash Kondansha, LTD, all rights reserved. So yeah, so yeah, so that's why I'm just showing you in front of the cover here. Because the box doesn't really have much, it's literally just a cardboard box with a sticker on it. And uh, if you don't know what Ashita no Joe is, this is straight from a wiki source that I looked up at this time. And I will read a bit of it to give you guys a bit of uh, information about the, the series. Ashton no Joe was, was first serialized by Kodansha in Weekly Shonen Magazine from January 1st, 1968 to May 13, 1973 and was later collected into 20 Tokobon volumes. During its serialization, it was popular with, it was popular with working class people and college students in Japan and has been adapted into various media including, including the Megalobox anime, a futuristic reimagination of the original that was made as a part of the 50th anniversary of Ashton no Joe. Yes, if you haven't known too, Megalobox, if people have seen it, because I know I have a, a cousin who actually watched Megalobox, and uh, he really enjoyed it. I think most people enjoyed the series, and I've told them that, you know, Ashita no Joe's actually a, uh, that's actually a remake or a remade version, so a modernized, no, it was a modernized version of the series Ashita no Joe, if they didn't know. So. Enough of my rambling, I know you just don't give a shit about what the fuck I'm talking about. Let's get into the figurine, this rare figurine that actually... It looked pretty cool when I, uh, when I saw it on the listing where I bought it from. There he is, Joe Yabuki from Ashton of Joe. As you can tell, he looks a bit different from the Metacombrio action hero that I actually unboxed a while back. And yeah, he looks completely different, also covered a di different, I uh outfit on him or should I say like body and you didn't know too the <laughs> the the figure came in the box naked I don't know why uh, I guess that's how they shipped it to me but yeah he does he also has uh, boxing gloves blue shorts that I will be changing on the video but I, I decided to put him as his default outfit as you see from the beginning of the series, and I will be comparing him to uh, the Medicom Joe figurine. But yeah, so you can see his detail. I apologize also for the lighting. Uh, <laughs> I still haven't bought the second light yet, but I don't really, you know, unbox much for my figurine. So yeah, yeah, you can see the detail on his face. It's really a bit detailed. I like the way his hair looks. You can actually see all the lining in his hair. Like it's almost like he combs his hair forward on purpose. And now that I think of it, does he use gel or something? Because I don't know how his hair like sticks up like that. But yeah, here's his like regular outfit you see in the show in the beginning when he's first walking, whistling his infamous whistle. Then I'm surprised the old uh, Megalobox didn't actually have a whistle. Did it? I don't remember. But I don't think it had. But yeah, the hat is removable. So I am going to change him into his boxing gear. And that, and yeah, there's a bit of rotation so you guys can see the figure in a bit more. Alright, so now that's Joe Yabuki with his boxing outfit. If you're gonna tell, I can't, I always never understood why they always make the neck of usually these anime figures look a bit awkward. As you can see how his neck looks a bit fatter than the rest of his body. 
the figurine looks good with the, when he has his regular outfit, but every time uh, when I put him on his like uh, boxing uniform, it looks weird. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But yeah, you can see the archi um, articulations for the legs and the hands. As you can see there, they actually bend. Um, the only problem I have is that um, this is actually a pretty rare figurine, so I don't know if I could buy a spare body for him, so I can't risk really uh, uh, showing much of uh, the way he moves and stuff, but he can move his arms back and forth and his legs. Uh, he also can move his neck side to side and back and forth, but you know, I try not to risk because I, I tend to say delicate figurine, but you could pose him around, but... I, I feel like they're gonna they could break easily like it feels like it could like snap if you put pull a bit too hard on the figurine but yeah so they're not super delicate to the touch where if you move one inch it's gonna fucking break but yeah so that's Joe's alternate costume in his boxing uniform that's, that's I think that's it there's not really much else to show you besides this outfit and the other regular outfit but I will be changing him back to his regular outfit so uh I could uh, compare him to the Metacom Real Action Hero of uh, Joe Yabuki. I'm just gonna give it a one more spin so you guys can see the figurine and uh, yeah. As you can see here, I put him back on his default outfit, and you can tell here I have the other Joyo Buki from Real Action Heroes Medicom, or the Medicom Real Action Heroes line. And as you can tell already by just by looking at the comparisons right here, the 2002 the How To Works figurine is actually a, a bit bigger from the um I think the actually is 12 inches, while the Medicom Real Action is like 11 and a half inches tall. So you can see here that he's actually shorter there. And if you don't know by looking at it, uh, I think the How To Works figure has a bit more details than the actually Metacom Real Action Heroes. And also the hair is made out of real fabric from the How To Works, while the Metacom Real Action Hero is like made out of like plastic. And the face on the on the How To Works figurine is more detailed than the Metacom Real Action Heroes figurine. Uh, because you can see the, the hair strokes compared to the Metacon which is just pure black, solid, plastic. The only thing I give Metacon like props to is the gloves, the hands, because they have bandage wraps which actually looks, makes the figurine a bit better than the how to works compared to their arms. Because uh, the Jojibuki's fig figures are, um, the how to works is like, it's a bit like weird looking with his fingers, the way they look, or the hand is, I should say. But, uh, shoes are almost the same. They gave socks to the How To Works Ashtano Joe, but the Medicom has no socks. And that's really much else. They gave him an orange shirt, uh, Joe Yubuki in the How To Works, which is, a, like, feels a bit more like Joe than the red shirt that, uh, that the uh, Medicom Reaction Unit has, but you know, from my opinion standpoint, which figurine looks better? Because, or what do you guys think? Which figurine do you guys prefer the look of? The Metacom Reaction Hero or the How To Works um, figurine of Ashitano jo or Joyubuki? Uh, tell me below and I'll see uh, who comments. I want to see which one people prefer. Honestly, from detail standpoints, I kind of like the How To Works figurine because it kind of looks a bit realistic like he's an actual uh, person while well, the Metacom reaction hero looks like it's from the actual anime but if you want my personal opinion I like the how to works figurine just the way it's like uh, just the way it looks compared to the Metacom reaction hero but the Metacom reaction hero actually wins for me because it's actually easier to pose and move around than the how to work figurine because it's a bit stiff and uh, yeah, so not really much else to show you guys. I just wanted to compare both of them. And uh, which do you guys prefer? Which figurine do you guys prefer? The Joe Yabuki from Metacom Real Action Hero or the How To Works figurine? Please tell me below because I'm kind of curious to see what you guys prefer over because I have both of them right here. And 
Yeah, and as much as I show you that's it for the how to work figurine, uh, I'm just gonna let it rotate around to show you both the figurines compared together. And uh, yeah, and what's in their back? What's in their back sack? I won't tell you guys that because even in the show, they don't tell you what Jojo Boogie carried around in his sack. So I don't think it's appropriate for me to even tell you what's in both of their sacks. <laughs> so <laughs> in their back sacks. Uh, yeah, I think I bag sacks. All right, <laughs> nah, not that. That guy stop. That's inappropriate. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, really love the show. I really highly recommend it. I don't think it's on Crunchyroll anymore. The Champion Joe Part Two was used to be on Crunchyroll. It's not there anymore. So I don't condone. I, I don't condone uh, illegally watching the the anime, but. I mean, I wouldn't say watch the discotheque movie that was recently released of uh, Mashtano Joe. I don't recommend watching that. I think watch the original show from episodes 1 to 53, which I think are canon, because the half of the rest of the first part is filler. From 50, uh, from 54 to uh, 70 something, I think, are filler. So, then we'll go from episode 1 to 53, then move to uh, Ashtano Joe 2. But honestly, great series. It's probably one of the only, one of the one of the few animes that ever actually made me cry at the end. And yeah, it's really feel good, and I really enjoy all the characters. Too bad they don't have any other characters like Nishi or uh, or uh, Danpei, but uh, they do have a Danpei figurine. But it's not really a Metacom. It's mostly just like a hard plastic doll. A, a, a hard plastic figurine. Maybe I, I, I'm planning on maybe buying it, but that's probably probably later on in the future or something. But hope you guys enjoy. I don't really want to hold you guys up more. Uh, do tell me what you think which figurine looks better. And uh, I know that my video really can't tell you, but oh, just by looking at it from what you can see in this video, uh, tell me which one looks better. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.